so we were seeing the view control toolbar over here the view control toolbar is basically used to change the viewing of your drawing okay so over here right now we have created all these lines suppose after having created a number of lines over here in this way now I created so many lines then right click to come out of the command now when I try to delete this line the two options for deletion is firstly you can select this line entire line and hit the delete button on your keyboard and it gets deleted for undo you have the option control Z that is for undo and for redo over here in micro session we'll be using control R that is your shortcut key for redo you can go with undo and control R for redo now when you delete those lines whenever you delete an object which is lying on another object for example right now our lines were lying on the XY axis as well as on this line so when you delete those objects sometimes or mostly what happens is the screen does not refresh it does not get refreshed and the axis over here you can still see very minute lines over here which are the marks left by the previously drawn line so in order to refresh your drawing you will be going with the first option over here called update view when you click on update view these gaps on this green vertical line and this red horizontal line will be filled click on update view and they are back they are filled that is how whenever you have these lines intersecting a particular axis or any other object whenever you have such lines and you delete it then you will be getting such gaps such lines you can go with update view which refreshes the view the other option to delete a particular line over here is you can go with this option delete element click on delete element and directly click on the element which you want to delete if you click on this that element will get deleted you can keep on deleting any number of elements after you are done you can go with clicking on this mouse sorry element selection option okay then go with update view in order to fill this gaps that is how your update view option works the next option over here is the zoom in option click on zoom in first let us zoom out a little using the mouse wheel now when I click on zoom in it will give me a zoom ratio over here 2 is selected for now and when you move your cursor to the screen you get this window the center point of the window will be placed at the center point of the screen after zooming in that is suppose I want to zoom in towards this uh, triangle I'll click over here and this triangle will be placed over here I'll click on this vertex and it will be placed in the center of our screen drafting screen that is how you'll be using the zoom ratio option you can change the zoom ratio as well if you want to come out you will go with right click and rotate your mouse wheel go with zoom in let us change the zoom ratio to 5 enter and now I'll click over here it will zoom in 5 times that will that is it will move closer to the object 5 times right click and zoom out using the mouse wheel or else you can even go with this option over here click on zoom out and you will be coming out of the screen you can again change the ratio over here say 2 now first I'll zoom in a little at this particular point and then go with zoom out and you'll as long as as on as long as you keep clicking it will keep coming out by a ratio of two units in this way that is how you'll be zooming out all right after zooming in and zooming out next option over here is window area that is you can draw a window and that window will be fit to the screen of your display select the window area option and now you can click and click again that is left click twice in order to draw this rectangle and when you click on that that rectangular space will be filled entirely into your display screen 
For example, if I want this triangle to be filled entirely in my screen, I'll click over here and click over here in this way. Now the triangle has filled the screen. That is how you'll be using your window area option. Then next we have the fit view option. Select the fit view option in order to fit all the objects, all the elements that are present in your drawing into your display screen. Now when I click on fit view, all the objects that are present inside your drawing will be displayed such that nothing is left out of your view. That is your fit view option. Okay. The next option over here is rotate view. After fit view, we have the rotate view option. Click on rotate view and now you can rotate the view that is you can rotate or incline your drawing at a particular angle over here you have two methods that is basically you can go with either two points method or you can get back to your unrotated state firstly select two points i'm clicking over here for the first time and the second time i'm clicking over here now this is how it gets rotated click and click again click and click again the drawing gets rotated depending upon the movement of your two points or the placement of your two points with respect to which it will use those two points as a reference and it will rotate using those two points. After having rotated your screen, in order to come back to your normal or original display, unrotated state, you can click over here and select the unrotated option. Okay. Click on unrotated and you're back to your original screen. That is how you will be using the rotate option. The next option over here is pan view. Click on pan view, after which panning as we saw is used for moving, moving your drawing. I'll click over here for the first time. That is my first data point. That is left mouse button is clicked over here, after which you get a arrow that is this is your initial location the first point after which wherever you click the second point there it will be moved in this way say i want to move it towards right first point over here second point over here in this way if i want this triangle to come somewhere around here click over here and click over here that is how you will be placing the triangle over here let us place this triangle at this starting of this point. Again, click over here and click over here. That is how you will be rota uh, sorry, panning it. Also, there's one option in the pan view that is called as dynamic display. First, let us fit this to the screen, fit view. Now click on pan view. And now I'll switch on the dynamic display option. Click on dynamic display. And now you won't be getting the arrow. You do not have to select two points. Instead, the first point is over here and next point will be the placement point directly. That is how you'll be using your dynamic panning or dynamic display in your pan option. You can click and you can move it directly. You won't be getting the arrow over here in this way. Right click and come out of the command. Again go with fit view. That is how you will be going with pan view option. The next option over here is view previous. The view previous option and the view next option act just like undo and redo for your viewing. That is if I go with view previous, the previous view of the screen will be displayed. <coughs> Click on view previous and this is how the screen was being displayed previously. Click on view previous again and this was before that. Again you can go with view next, again click on view next. This is how the present screen is being displayed. So these two options view previous and view next are basically used to undo or redo your viewing. Alright, so that is about your view control toolbar. Then next we'll be seeing how to draw a drawing, a simple drawing such as this.
a rectangle of dimensions 13 and 8 in your micro station which will continue in our next session.